People ask me what are the advantages of studying abroad and I think there are a number of advantages. I'm Nick Strong and I'm the Regional Coordinator for University Guidance at the Yu Chung Education Foundation. The first one would be the different pedagogies. Um, different universities around the world and different countries around the world offer very different types of education. Um, a student studying in the UK would have a very intensive, very subject specific experience. So for example, if they were interested in studying physics, that's what they would study effectively for three years. On the other hand, if they were looking at a liberal arts model that you might encounter in the US, it would be a very different experience. In their first and second year, they might do a range of unrelated courses which had nothing to do with what they would finally select as their major or majors. And I think there are benefits to both systems and it, it depends very much on the individual student. For example, one of my students um, who was extraordinarily talented as a scientist but also was a superb writer uh, and who had interest in music and art I recommended her to look at the US rather than the UK because I felt it would give her the opportunity to explore those other um, aspects of her character, those other things in which she was interested. And as it turned out, she contacted me during her first year because she decided that she wanted to change from biological sciences um, to engineering, something that would not have been possible in the UK, uh, but was something that was pretty straightforward in the US. The other advantages, particularly of studying abroad, are being able to create global networks. Students make friends at university from, with students from all over the world, and I think that the student body is becoming more global. Students seeing the world as being the place to, to look for higher education, not just a specific country. Um, so they create these global networks, and these, these networks will last for a lifetime and many students create networks there that will help them in terms of their future employment, business and so on. The last one I want to touch on really is the idea of the student becoming a global citizen and how that has an impact ultimately on their employability. All the evidence seems to suggest that employers are looking for students who are globally minded, who are just as comfortable in Asia as they are in the US or as they are in Europe and I think these opportunities for experiencing higher education uh, globally improve students' opportunities for employment and their ulti ultimately their success in later life.